Hey, what's up, guys? Thanks for stopping by. Um, so this, so I want to start off by apologizing for my first um, unraid video. This was a video I posted about two weeks ago with me upgrading or adding RGB fans and a SAS controller to my uh, unraid server. The reason I want to apologize is because that video went an hour long. And in that video, I, I kind of did a lot of rambling. So in order to get away from that, I'm going to actually make three videos. And this will be a series of three videos and this will be video one. So in this, so let me, let me uh, start off by telling you what I'm going to be doing. So I just got into Unraid and i um it's been it's been like a month now i've been on unraid and i have already outgrown my uh my first system so let me tell you what my first system is uh my first system is the i5 Hold on, matter of fact, you know what? I'll show you Unraid right now. I'll show you. Let me show you Unraid, my Unraid system. <clears throat> so this is my Unraid uh, server right here. The first one I built. It has five uh, hard drives in it. One party drive and two cache drives. I have a few dockers over here running most of them are off and i have two vms over here over here i have um the cpus so i have one cpu here with four cores as you can see there are no threads just four cores so it's pretty weak sauce so this is the intel i5 2500k at 32 megahertz at sorry 34 megahertz so this this is a good uh, CPU and motherboard to start off with if you're now getting into Unraid. But the unfortunate thing is I want to do more, and I can't do more with this with three with four CPUs with um with four cores, zero threads. So it's a four core CPU, and I got zero threads because this is not a hyper-threaded CPU. Okay, so this is a good uh, server. Like I said, this is a good server to start off with. And if you start off with this and you're ready to move on, you can still keep this server running, maybe in a 2U case. I have it right now in a 4U uh, case. Chassis. You could put this in a 2U chassis and run Pi-hole. You could probably run uh, Nextcloud on this, and you could probably run YouTube DL on this. And even maybe... Um, home assistant on this i wouldn't run vms on this this uh, this was a bad idea but i was but i guess that's my first so 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 this brings me to where i'm telling you um this um series of videos will be me swapping out my parts of my gaming rig and putting it into a server chassis to build my second server. So I already went ahead and bought a new motherboard and CPU to replace my motherboard and CPU in my gaming slash editing rig. So my gaming rig, uh, and I'll show you it right now. Okay, so this is my gaming rig. And this is the rig I am going to, this is the motherboard and CPU I'm going to be retiring into my new uh, server. So I will have two servers, but this now will be my main server replacing the 2500K from my main server to my second uh, server. Ah, so let me give you the specs on this. Right now, this server is uh, the i9 
N980XC, uh, 18 cores, 32 threads with 128 gigs of RAM. And it has, uh, because I'm not sure, I'm not looking at it right now, but I'll say five uh, PWM headers on this, fan headers on this. And I want to say it has um, maybe three USB Gen 3 ports, headers, uh, headers on the motherboard, and like one or two uh, Gen 2 USB headers on the motherboard. And it has eight, let me see if I can count them. It has about eight data ports, two, four, six, eight, eight data ports on the motherboard. So, I'm gonna take that out and put it in this new case that this is going into. So it'll have uh, four, six, eight, twelve um, hard drives in it, but the case can accommodate fifteen hard drives. But in total, I'll have a total in that one uh, chassis, twenty hard drives, and then in the older server, which is my first server, I'll put six hard drives in that because um, on RAID only allows you six uh six 12 and unlimited they have three tiers they charge you for six 12 and unlimited let me see if i can pull it up real quick uh so here we are on the unraid um website. let me see if i can find the pricing here basic has basic is uh six hard drives of 59 bucks plus is 89 bucks with 12 hard drives and pro is 129 bucks on limited hard drives so i went with the pro the unlimited because in my main server which i'm going to be building out with the with my older gaming uh hardware i'm going to be putting 20 drives in that one and you can't do 20 drives on the other tiers if, if you could and it was cheaper, I'd, I'd definitely do it. Um, I do know that uh, true NAS and uh, free NAS is an option. But I have had a bad experience with uh, true NAS when I first tried to install it. It would not work for me. I had all kinds of issues with my hardware. I don't know if because my hardware was older. And that's why I was having so many issues. But it would not work for me. So I had to end up going uh, on RAID. And I installed Unraid and it worked the same time. No issues. I installed TrueNAS and I had issues for almost a whole entire week trying to get it to work. No issues at all. So that's why I stuck with uh, Unraid. Now, in my last video I did with the changing up the RGBs, the adding RGB, I mentioned, um, I mentioned Space Invader. I can honestly say because of Space Invader, I've outgrown my system in less than two weeks because of Unraid, because of uh, Space Invader. Space Invader videos are so detailed and helpful. After watching Space Invader videos, his videos are so detailed. You just want to go off and do so much more with the, with the server that you built. He helps you take your, your skill level up and he um he really does these in-depth videos that really guide you properly on how to configure and add dockers and add apps and add uh virtual machines to your server so in less than two weeks of watching his videos there's nothing more i can do with this hardware that i have i have totally outgrown his hardware i even had to end up deleting some of my uh my dockers even some like VM, could have more VMs, and it's because I only have eight gigs of RAM and four cores, no threads. I, I, I basically I can't do anything with this. This is this is done. So I just wanted to let you know where I'm going from here. 
I am going to be building out. Uh, I'm going to be swapping. It's going to be three systems, two servers and one gaming PC. So my next gaming PC is going to be the 10th gen Core i7-10700. And this is the lock CPU. So I bought these two to replace my older uh, Asus motherboard and Intel CPU. So I'm literally downgrading my gaming system. But my server will still be able to handle a lot of the tasks my gaming and editing my editing um computer did so i'm not losing anything by downgrading my um my gaming pc so that is where i'm going and this is video one in a series of maybe three and i'll be swapping out hardware in three in two chassis and one case which would be this case and i think that's it so I'll see you in the other two videos, maybe. So thanks for watching and I'm out. So peace.